what's in the world here? We are back with Castle Flipper. We've got a couple quests. If you watched our last episode, uh, we finished up clean, uh, cleaning up and building a brand new ship. So that was really exciting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Link is up in the description. But today we've got two jobs and I want to tackle them both. So we got to jump right in. The first one I think we're going to take uh, is building a house. We're going to build a house. We're going to collect some garbage, remove some tree trunks, and should be fairly quick, but let's see how it goes. All right, so it looks like we've got a little bit of a mess here. We got to clean up before we can put the house down. Got to destroy this cart. Let's go grab our handy dandy sledgehammer and get rid of everything here. Got some tree trunks. And I think, yeah, the trees get to stay. So let's not cut those down quite yet. One more piece of trash, and I think we're good. So the foundation, it needs 14 pieces for the foundation. Let's go ahead and purchase those now. Come up with a nice little house design. So, okay, we need... I want to get this a little higher up. That way it's not a big deal. And try to square it off just a bit. So now I'm thinking in terms of rust. I don't know if you've seen any of our gameplay with the rust. It's not too often that we go ahead and play that, but every once in a while it comes up, especially around the holiday season. And this building mechanic really reminds me of rust. So we got the foundation, that's quite a bit. Oh boy, so let's uh, let's get some flooring here. Just do the simple wood. I don't want to spend any of my stone, that's been hard to come up with. Okay, so we got the flooring in, fantastic. Uh, we need a roof and a door. I've been thinking the entrance is going to be here. Let's go ahead and put the doorway in here. Give them a little back door too, not a big deal. Make this kind of nice and clean looking. Couple front windows you want to look out. Maybe something on the side. Yeah, that looks symmetric, I like it. And finally, let's get some walls. Can't have a roof if you don't have some walls. And of course, maybe, uh, maybe we make this a little bedroom area. Put another doorway in here. Don't necessarily need a door there, but I think that will work just fine. And of course we'll put up the wood for this too. Yeah, plaster, rock, I don't want to spend that quite yet. I want to use the rock on our own home, so all these houses will look kind of similar until we get some more resources to do some fancy things. But what's cool is we should be able to get to decorate this house a bit and make it look a little more clean. There we go. Oh, we're eating through our wood with this job. So now, yeah, we need three doors. I didn't even notice that, that's perfect. Let's get the doors in place. Um, yeah, I just want basic doors. I don't wanna spend a bunch of money with this. Is it gonna let me put it the other way? Eh, maybe I put it on the wrong way. Oh well, looks good enough for me. They really, I don't think they have an interior wall something that's similar on either side. So we have balconies, we have a lot of different stuff here. We're not gonna get too fancy with this house though, though we got some decent ideas there. Let's go ahead and figure out how to set up this roof that it doesn't look too, too crazy. And I don't think we need to furnish it, but we'll go and take a look as we head along. So this looks like it's a little less steep of a slant. 
for a roof. That looks fine to me. What do we do with the side over there? I feel like we need like a little bit of a You need a ladder or something. That's that's what you get in Rust. You get something to do that. We've got that in place. Can we stick this on top? Okay. How are we doing it on the roof pieces? Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see, is this... Um, Okay, I think that will close it in. I'm just pushing all sorts of buttons trying to figure out. Let's go ahead and get the wood up there so we at least see what's going on here. Because I'm confused what pieces these are. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. Ooh. Yeah, let's stay. We're not quite done here. So it does look like those pieces there that I was using at the end, we do have a little piece that goes up there that does look good. Of course, we don't have a roof on this little piece, so let's go figure out something with that. Yeah, you can't really have a bedroom if there's no roof here, so let me see what we have in place. I'm not thinking anything too fancy. Maybe we can do something like this. There we go, there we go. I like that. We're doing a little more than we needed to, which is all right. That was kind of the goal. Get this house looking all nice and fancy. And I think if we wanted to close in the ceiling, let's see, do we have pieces for that too? I think we do, there we go, there we go. That's thinking with portals. So now the ceiling is in place. I think we've got a pretty classy looking house here. And of course, we don't need to spend any money on items for this house. I don't want to waste anything. We put the doors in place. We already did a little more by putting the roof on when we didn't need to. But you know, that's just the nice thing to do. I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> Let's go take our next quest. Our next quest is a some sort of neighbor or something. We gotta fix some damaged items. Oh, zero out of 120. I have no clue what this is going to be like. I'm sure it would tell us if I were to actually read. Wow. Would you check out this huge area? Like every location we go to just feels massive. It's so immersive. It does look like we have a lot to clean up. So we've got 120 damaged items. And it's not saying anything about cleaning. I, I guess this is just earning us money. There are two chests, no notes to find. Interesting. So we're just going to go explore Maybe I'm stealing their hay. Maybe that's what we're doing right now. Which, uh, oops. Guess we'll figure that out as we go. Not seeing a way up there, so I think we're good. What are we supposed to fix? So I found our first chest up in this house. There's really a cool layout in here they they did a good job there are paintings we can choose from they have a little oven let's go ahead and light that there we go warm it up inside but i'm going to check this last tower see if the other chest is in here and then we'll go into the main building oh looks like uh nowhere to go in here back door open nope it does not open. So I guess we're going straight into the main building. Sometimes I like to check the wells, see if we can't go in there. 
but it doesn't seem like that's a thing. I wonder what is inside the fix. This is really throwing me off. This place looks like completely finished. What are we supposed to be doing? Got some animal cages that looks like a chest, but it's not. Maybe I should have read the letter. Going through somebody's bed here. Massive setup for sure. It's still not too sure why we're here. It looks like they keep everything in order. Where do you get a bathtub like this in medieval times? They've got towel racks? What is this? And plumbing? What kind of fancy place is this? This doesn't look right. This doesn't look time period specific. Oh, so we need to go through and break some of his stuff. This will show him what it's like to destroy your things. I see. This is much, much different. Fantastic. We get to destroy all this stuff. Oh, that makes this much more fun. See ya, bud. We need to go through and destroy everything, I think. This poor guy. I, I don't know what he did to deserve this. I'm sure if I would have read the rest of that. It would have explained. I think it mentioned he was borrowing this dude's stuff and never returning it. But at least for him, no more indoor plumbing, no more futuristic towels and towel racks, no more tub. That's like 300 years before it's time. Go ahead and head downstairs and we'll continue to go back through and destroy everything. What I didn't find though, I haven't found the other uh, chest. It's kind of interesting. We'll have to keep digging around for that. Is get, oh no, we're gonna have to destroy that oven in that other house. That's gonna be sad. Another big ticket item. And it's getting a little dark, so I'm gonna keep destroying some of the stuff and we'll come back as we wrap this episode up. So I'm running into the last house here and I will make a note here. You can see some of the fireflies out. I wasn't quick enough to finish this episode during the last previous day. And there are day and night cycles in this game, which of course um, can be bittersweet, of course. It, Took forever for the night cycle to go through. I was, I, I ended up watching a video and trying to wait that out. It was taking quite some time to get to the end of that. So that is my one critique so far of the game. Day and night cycle is not a fan, especially when you're trying to record. It gets so pitch black that you can't even see when you're playing the game, so. Such is life. Let's go ahead and we'll wrap this up. I think I found everything, though. It's very hard to tell, uh, especially when it's so dark out. Yeah, I think we got it. Last item, mission complete. So we're back here at home, and you guys might be thinking I was complaining about the day and night cycle, and we can sleep at the bed. But I wasn't, a if you leave the mission area, if you leave the job, it resets. I don't know if that's like supposed to be a time constraint or what it's supposed to be, but I, I would like to see an update where we're able to, when you're at a mission location, it just stays daylight, no need to mess with the day and night. And you can have the day and night here in your own kingdom. But with that, I think we're gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates of future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch, as I'll occasionally stream live.
Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.